Welcome to uh, today's tutorial. My name is Hamtin. Uh, so I'm going to take you through uh, the solutions for this tutorial, which is tutorial sheet one, and uh, I'll start with question one. So if you want to find such a question, or if you want to find any question from your tutorial sheets on my channel, you can just simply just uh, type this part here. You can go on YouTube, just write TS1, meaning tutorial sheet one, Q1 meaning question one. So you, you say Ash TS1 Q1 and then you write the name of your school which is LMMU and then you search on YouTube. This question will eventually uh, pop up and you'll be able to watch uh, the solution. So let's quickly uh, begin to solve uh, the, solu the, the question. So the question says write the following in set builder 4. So I'm sure by now uh, we learn from grade 12 and from other sources that you've gone through you know the format of a set builder notation so if you are writing this in set builder notation you first have to look at the numbers that are uh, have been given in the verses in the set so here our set is a so we say our a is equal to you open these uh, brackets and then you say you look at what is happening there you can see to say we're moving in a multiples of three we start with three six nine two so i can say my x here instead of just writing x i'll say three x so three x is such that three x is such that x or yeah you can say x is um a member of you can say x is a member of uh, natural numbers we know to say natural numbers are just counting numbers uh, starting from one going up so you count the way you count numbers you count uh, as one two three four five six seven going up so natural numbers are just counting numbers starting from one going up okay and then you say where this comma means where so where um, now you you write the interval uh, that is going to contain these uh, uh, these numbers, all these numbers. When you put the first numbers there, for instance, when you put one there, you get three. When you put two where well, there's x, you get six. When you put three, you get nine. When you put four, you get twelve. So what is the interval that we're going to put here? So the interval that we're going to put here, we say these numbers are ranging from where? So this x is ranging from one. So when we are writing the a range, so I'm including one as as well. So that's the reason why I've said one is less or equal to, and then we write our x there, which is less or equal to. Um, we're ending at four. When we put four, that's when we're having twelve. So we put our twelve there. So this is um, our set builder notation or our set builder form of this uh, set that we've been given here. So same applies to these other questions, you do the same. So that is the solution, this is the solution for the first part. So same applies to these other questions, you do the same. So um, the second one here, when you look at it, you can agree with me that for you to find the first term there, you can just um, Okay, for you to find these numbers, you can just find a simple formula. You can use what is called um, uh, uh, what, what is called uh, uh, inspection method. So you can use what is called inspection method to find the formula here. So if you don't want to use inspection method, if you've done additional mathematics before, you can simply just use uh, what is called um, the what's this the AP and the GP geometrical progressions and arithmetical progressions to find the formula that we're going to use here. Even uh, here, it um, the same applies. Yeah. So on this question, that we what we can do here is uh, when you use uh, what's this the GP, which is the geometrical progression formula, you discover to say or to f w which is um, to find the nth term. You just say. A, which is the first term, and then you say R, and then N minus 1. So now, if you just use this, if you just use that, you, can, you easily find your formula. Or if you want, you can just use inspection method. When you use inspection method, you discover to say, to find the nth term here, you just have to say 2 raised to power X. 
so this is what we're going to have as our formula and then we say 2 raised to power x is such that um, 2 raised to power x is such that uh, this x is also a member of what uh, natural numbers and then these natural numbers are ranging from where from 1 uh, from 1 up to 5 so from 1 up to 5 so if you learn so if you are, if you if you learn uh, uh, interval notations here instead of writing this you can also use an interval notation which will just be um, okay yeah so if you are using interval notation you, you can just write this but normally when you're dealing with intervals we deal with uh, we deal with real numbers which is just a group of all numbers but in this case we've, been, we've specified to say we're dealing with the natural numbers so it's just better for you to use the normal uh, uh, these uh, interval notations that we know okay so this is the solution for that yeah okay sorry this here was supposed to be x not n I'm supposed to put x there not n all right so same applies to this you do the same as the way i've done these two which is just simple and straightforward yeah so the solution for this one is simple which is just this you know to say um when you multiply uh any natural number starting from one with uh two you get one of these answers so you when you multiply it with one you get two when you multiply it with two you say two times two you get four two times three you get six then you go to the infinity that's the reason why here the numbers uh that here at the end i've decided to put infinity to to simply just show that um to simply just show that uh here the numbers are not ending they're just going all right so let's quickly move on to the last question which is also simple but i think the last question you guys can do it so if you are if you are doubting you don't know the answer for the last question i've left it for a reason if you are doubting your answer you can just forward it to me after solving and then i'll check through if i check through i'll tell you whether you are correct or wrong so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial so make sure that you don't forget to subscribe to the channel kindly click on the uh, on the what's this, on the button that says subscribe so that you don't miss out whatever video that i'm going to be posting on my channel see you in the next tutorial video shalom shalom